We're heading into the fifth week of the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 as time is running out for the so-called pingers in the plane's flight data recorders that could guide searchers to it. Their batteries will soon die if they haven't already, but a new technology not yet in use might have made a big difference. Here's Jeff Pegues. Between 2010 and 2011, a Transportation Safety Administration pilot program tested deployable black box technology on a commercial plane. The nearly $9 million test concluded that this deployable unit sped up the process of finding critical information about an aircraft in the event of a crash. Here's how it works. In an emergency over water, the combination cockpit voice and flight data recorder ejects and floats, making it easier to find. Nearly three years later, deployable black boxes are no closer to becoming a reality in commercial planes. The U.S. Navy has used them for two decades. This F-A-18 has one. Well, if it's good enough for the Navy, why isn't it good enough for commercial planes? That's the question I've been asking for 10 years. Since 2003, Democratic Congressman David Price of North Carolina has sponsored legislation calling for commercial use of deployable black boxes. All four times the legislation died. Cost may be a factor. The price of installing the technology in new planes is estimated to be about $60,000. Do you think it's worth spending the money? You take one of these searches and you've paid for black boxes for every aircraft you can, you can think of. And it could offer information uh, closure to the families who are involved. I mean, on all those fronts, it seems like a, an obvious thing we should do. Congressman Price plans on introducing new legislation, but ultimately it'll be up to the FAA to mandate new equipment. A spokesperson for the airline industry told us that it's too early to speculate on changes to planes. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Jeff Pegues at Reagan National Airport.